The first lick is basically the lick on 2, 5, 1, where I emphasize the chords 2, 5, and 1, D minor 7, G7, and C. 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> Now I'd like to show you the first and simplest substitution that you can do. This sequence is 2, 5, 1, but something that sounds really nice is to keep that 2 if you're improvising and just play the 2 and then go to the 1. So you're playing a 2 over a 5 on the second chord. Dennis will keep playing the chords as you just heard, 2, 5, 1. I'm going to play 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the next thing I'd like to show you is a flat 9 and the flat 9 is put on this dominant 7 chord, the 5th chord. So we look at the 5, which is G7, we add a flat 9, which is G7, we add a 9, which is another 3rd, but it's a flat 9. It's not the 9 from the scale, which would have been an A, but we make an A flat instead. This is how it goes. One, two. Three, four. Now it's time for something which is a slightly more advanced substitute. On the five, we're talking about G7 as a dominant chord. I would like to show you a D flat seven sub. I'm not going to explain why, just listen to the effect. Train your ears. One, two, three, four. <laughs> The next thing I'd like to do, we've played a D flat 7 on this dominant chord. I'd like to substitute that D flat 7 by its 2. So the D flat 7 is a substitute dominant, but I'd like to play the 2 of that dominant, which is A flat minor. Let's try. 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> The final example I'd like to show you is an augmented fifth, where the dominant chord, G7, the fifth of that chord gets raised by a semitone. So G7 is this, and I will raise the fifth, which is the D, by a semitone. That's a nice sound, it's a very useful sound, and we'll try and play it for you now. One, two, three, four. So that's enough examples for now. Let's move towards the background uh, of these harmonic changes that we're making. As a soloist, you can change things. You can decide what notes to play on a given chord, but also the rhythm section can do this. So if your guitarist decides to play a substitution on a chord, that's fine. Again, use your ears, try to hear the basic sound of the chord and react to that. <laughs> 